Let's add our domain into Cloudflare and then into High Level. It's changed. Cloudflare looks different and so does High Level. So let's add a site and you'll notice here that this looks immediately different. We're going to come over to Namecheap and make sure that we have copied the domain and that we don't have any extra spaces. I really love to copy the domain. We were working with someone recently and one of the domains had the in the front and one didn't and boy did we miss it. So copying really is effective. And then make sure that there's nothing in here. If you've got something like blast pass, et cetera, it does want to pop things in. Enter an existing domain name. Lemon Drop Social is what we're going to do today and we're gonna click continue. We're going to scroll down and we're gonna hit free, confirm plan. We're gonna start the quick scan. And this is happening the same as it did before. It's just in a different order and, and laid out a little bit differently. And we're gonna click continue. And we're going to copy these two records here under update your name server. So I'm going to come over to my Namecheap account and we're going to find where to update the name servers, the DNS, and I'm going to change it to custom. And I'm going to drop in the first one and I'm going to come back and I'm going to click to copy the second one. I'm going to do the second one and I'm going to hit save. That little check mark. Very hard to see. It says 48 hours. Sounds good. We're out of name cheap. We'll come back here to Cloudflare and I'm going to hit continue. Continue. And what it's going to do is it's sitting in pending status. So we're going to wait until we receive an email that says your site is now live on Cloudflare. The reason we're going to do that is because it will add the domain into high level quickly and easily. It happened very quickly this time. We're looking for this email, Cloudflare, Lemon Drop Social is now active. And we're gonna come back here and we're going to come to DNS. And I love to hit Command or Control R and we wanna get that out of pending status. It is now turned green, it is now active. What I'm going to do is come to my Go High Level account. I'm going to come to settings and I'm going to come to domains and I'm going to add a domain and I'm going to add the, oh, that was what I copied, right? Let's go back and make sure that we have the actual domain itself and no extra spaces. Copy and jump over and drop that in. And I'm going to add the www, www. I didn't used to do this. So this is new and I just want to make sure there's no extra spaces and I'm going to click on continue. It's going to scan. It's going to recognize I'm on Cloudflare and ask me to authorize the change, authorize the domain. If you're not logged into Cloudflare, it's going to ask you to log in. I was on a different browser for this reason. There we go. And that looks great. I'm going to authorize. I'm going to paste the lemon drop social again. And it's going to authorize this for us. And it could take up to 30 seconds. Fantastic. It's now ready. If you have a current funnel, go ahead and add it. If you don't, you will need to remember to come back here because it will give you a 404 error. So you wanna make sure that you've linked it in here. If not, remember to come back. Additional options, you can add in a 404 page as well. And then link the domain. And sometimes once I do this, I'll actually also come over to the site itself and make sure that the domain is connected. It looks like it's connected here and we'll come into settings and it's dropped in here as well. So that's fantastic, it's ready to go that quick. That's why we use Cloudflare. Cloudflare gives you that extra layer of security, safety, and it is faster.